What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Cardinal Red from Ali Land Boxing Talk. And today we will be discussing the new age of boxing. Old school versus new school. My conscience won't let me go shoot my brother or uh, some darker people or uh, some poor hungry people in the mud for big powerful America and shoot them for what? They never called me nigga. They never lynched me. They didn't put no dogs on me. They didn't rob me of my nationality, rape and kill my mother and father. What I'm going to shoot them for what? How can I go shoot them? Them little poor little black people, little babies and children and women. How can I shoot them poor people? I would just take me to jail. When you think about the old school fighters and you compare them to the fighters of today, you see stark differences. You see childish behavior and you see money hungry young people. A lack of respect, a lack of leadership, and a loss of the warrior spirit. When you think about the differences between Muhammad Ali and Floyd Mayweather Jr., it shouldn't take a rocket scientist to see these two guys have absolutely nothing in common besides the sport of boxing. You see, when you ask me, Ali defines the sport of boxing. A warrior with a willingness to fight not only for himself or for money or championships, but for the freedom of a people. And when you compare that to a guy like Floyd Mayweather Jr., you have to ask yourself some serious questions. What changed not only in the life of a boxer, but what changed in boxing? What makes a guy like Floyd Mayweather the top boxer the most money ever made in the sport of boxing. What makes him so braggadocious, so much like an angry teenager? What makes him not carry the warrior spirit that was carried by fighters like Ali, Tyson, and so many other names. What has actually changed in the sport of boxing that took men from being or wanting to be like Ali and turning them into men or kids 
like Floyd Mayweather Jr. Oh, mother, get the out of my gym. Oh, no. I beat your mother. Oh, no. Now I know I'm gonna get comments from people saying that I'm only doing this because Floyd is rich and I'm not. And they're gonna call me all kind of haters. But remember one thing, Floyd is the richest man in boxing. Muhammad Ali was the richest man in boxing. But there is a big respect difference. And I think it's a contradiction, and yeah. there is a contradiction, right? No, I know. I'm he preaches against materialism, but fills his garage with a Rolls Royce, a new Cadillac, a new Lincoln, no. a new camper. Two Rolls Royce. Two Rolls Royce. <laughs> Now, uh, now, I'll tell you another thing. Now, I wish he was here, the man who wrote it. Well, I preach it. against material things. Yes. When have I ever preached anything against material? I don't preach against material things. I teach our people and our religion that heaven is not on earth. I say heaven is not up in the sky. I mean, heaven is on earth. Hell is not underground. Hell is on earth. The white man has told you heaven is in the sky and hell is underground, and he takes everything in the middle. He's got all the factories, all the hotels, all the motels, all the electric, the land. I say heaven is a good condition on earth. This is what we preach. I don't preach this material thing. And another reason I have material things, not because I want them, not because I see a watch today I want to buy, you know, or uh, Hilton Hotel, the watch costs $6,000. I'm getting a watch for a reason. I have my Rolls Royces for a reason. I have the things I buy for a reason. Black people in America, I'm ready for you. Black people in America do not respect, even the world, people, the average man out here. Why am I on your show? Whoop, George Bowman. Why can I get up and talk so bold on TV? Because I'm the heavyweight champion. If I was just another nigga out there working, I wash some dishes, and what my, and my opinion don't mean a damn thing. I know right, that. Right. But let me tell you another thing. Why do I buy pretty cars? Because all of the educated people, we're trying to convert to the Islamic faith. The thing is, you all don't have nothing. Elijah Muhammad Ali used to have a little old house, a real house, trying to be humble, and all the Negro preachers of Christianity will say to their followers, how can Elijah Muhammad be from God? He lives in a shack. Shouldn't God be able to bless him with a nice home? He wanted to be humble. He could have had a big home. He drove a little old car in his younger days, trying to be humble. But they think you don't have nothing. People don't respect you when you look like you don't have no money. So I gotta buy diamonds. I gotta be the heavyweight champion. I gotta have a Rolls Royce. So when I pull up to that other black man with a Rolls Royce, hey, my brother, come on down to the Muslim temple today. I want you to hear the sermon of Allah. Uh, who's a pretty car? Mm, where that watch come from? Oh, my man. Come on over. And they listen. You got to have something. Most people will join a church. You get a Catholic church, any kind of church, and build a church and put gold seats in it, put diamond carved speakers on the wall, put carpet in that church, and watch how many followers you will have in your church. Let another man preach a better word of God, let him have a little house with a storefront, and he won't have no followers. People are in this world, we love wealth. They respect people with money. So I have to buy these things, line them up. I'm fixing up a home in Chicago, English style house, 14 bedrooms, 60 years old. It will cost a million dollars to build. I paid 100,000 for it. I'm putting all new furniture from Beirut, Lebanon. It's going to be a plus plus house. I'm never at home. But when I invite people over to talk to me, and they ding, punch the bell, dong, 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 dong. And my show will come door. Oh, yes, uh, Mr. Ollie, you'll be out in 20 minutes. I have to sit upstairs for 30 minutes and make him wait so he'll appreciate me. <laughs> I'm trying to wake up my people and help them. So I have to have these things. Otherwise, I'm broke. He's a Joe Lewis. His managers take all his money. He made five million. He don't have nothing. Now, that's why you see these cars and stuff. I said at the beginning, the biggest difference between these two men, Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Muhammad Ali, is respect. Muhammad Ali's name holds so much respect not only in the sport of boxing, but throughout the entire world. And when you compare him to a fighter of today, Floyd Mayweather Jr., 
you see the biggest difference between boxing today and boxing yesterday is a lack of respect. Not only for the fans, but for themselves. Rest in peace, Muhammad Ali. I hope you enjoyed, and we out of here.